there is a part in every human being that has a need to go beyond the ordinary and beyond the things that you can accomplish yourself. A big challenge, a big journey, a big adventure. And I think that's what fascinates me about space. My name is Samantha Cristoforetti. I'm an Italian astronaut with the European Space Agency, and I have recently spent 200 days on the International Space Station. And this is my flicker moment. I am the first Italian woman astronaut, and recently now I've been in the news for breaking the record of the longest continuous space flight by a woman. To be honest, I, I don't think that it really makes a difference if you've been in space for 200 days or 190. For any astronaut, what really counts is to experience space travel firsthand. I wanted to have a photographic recording of my experience for myself, but then of course I was like, hey, I, I think a bunch of people would be interested in it. Not only when you're up there in space, but also throughout the training process. There's thousands of people who are involved in getting us ready to fly to space. And so I was hoping that, you know, by gathering the pictures of what I was doing day by day, I would be able to tell that story. I did have some uh, favorite things that I'd like to take pictures of from the space station. One was definitely my home country, I have to say. I'm probably a little bit biased, but I also do think that Italy is, is, is very photogenic. <laughs> it's, you know, it has its very peculiar shape. It's very diverse in its landscapes. It's very bright at night. Patagonia, I always liked. The blue of those lakes and the white of the glaciers. The northern part of Africa, those different shades of red and all those geological features mean very, very special. The Earth is, is a magnificent place to look at. I actually call it a spaceship on which all of humanity travels through space. We have to start to perceive ourselves more and more as the crew of the spaceship, not passengers, not people who just happen to pass by or tourists, but crew members who actually need to take care of it, to take care of it and to take care of each other, just like we do on the space station. When you're in space, you have this view out the window and it just drives that message home in a very powerful way.